we got package. So I'm so excited for this one, you guys. So this is the big one. It's my new camcorder that I ordered off of Mercari for $150. It's a Panasonic HCV 180K. I eyed this camera at Target years ago, and this was one where I was debating between to get that or a Canon Vixia. I went with a Canon Vixia. That's what I've been using for the last four years, but it's I think it's about time to upgrade. So this one should have significantly better quality, um, and it's been so fun using this thing, but you know, it's, it's time to move on. And this one was apparently in new condition, so I'm super excited that this that the mailman just showed up and it's about to be 8 p.m., so I've been waiting all day so without being around the bush let's get the package open to use an amazon box like i would usually recycle some boxes from any anything i order off of ebay just anything amazon ebay or mercari i recycle all my boxes or just keep them up in the drawer in case if i ever have to reuse them and you know it's good so that way if you're ever selling anything or you have to return something you have something left over and you don't have to be looking around for boxes but here we go so Ooh, nicely wrapped. Should be with the box and everything, so let's see. It's all wrapped in here. We're about to see it. Yeah, that's about right. So that's the box right here. Panasonic V180. I had this again at Target years ago. Now I finally get to own it. They still sell it at Target. Uh, you know, occasionally I've seen it at the stores and it cost me pretty good too. If I bought this brand new at Target, it would cost me like 200 bucks. And I think that that might be something for the mail or it's no, never mind. No, it's my brother for something else. But all right. So this camera. Oh, OK. I thought the box was a little taped. So the box is actually well, it's kind of beat up, but it's honestly not too bad. This looks in pretty decent shape and uh, says Mac compatible, but it should work with just about anything. Uh, so let's open it up and here we go. See the moment of truth. Okay, looks like it's covered with all this. What's this? Oh, cool! It's a it's a mini HDMI to HDMI. Do I didn't even know it comes with that? Dude, that's so useful. I have one already, but I could use that. What's this for? This is a micro USB cable. This is oh, this is the charger, and I think this is the cube. And there's something else in here. It has a little warranty paper. Oh, it's the battery. Okay, it's the camera battery. Okay, so before we check the camera, this is what the charger. So this is the charger right here. So it's it's a wall charger as well, and this one it has like USB. Dude, that'd be so useful, dude. So because it has like a USB cable as well, so it's like you could charge it with a portable battery, dude. That's so cool. Uh, it's a little short length, definitely a little significantly shorter than the Vixia charger, but I think we'll be able to manage just fine. All right, and now the camera is in here. So some instruction manuals in there, and here it is. Apparently, it was in brand new shape. Oh yeah, that's it right here, full HD. That's about right. It's the exact one that I remember seeing at Target. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Yep, exactly the way I see it. SD card slot is down here. And I have an SD card that I bought. I bought this guy off of Amazon for, I think it was $14. Not a bad deal. Uh, this one is pretty fast, says speeds up to read up to 170 megabytes 90 megabytes i think maybe it's a little slower than other sd cards but honestly i don't really care but um i bought this thing a long time ago and it, it came in like a few days ago so this thing has been in my drawer for a while so now we're gonna put that in uh in just a second so let me first grab the battery and then let's put it in just like that it goes in oh no i'm not putting it in correctly i saw it it was slightly tilted oh there we go that should do it all right now let's put the sd card in Send this to Stream Pro 64 gigs, and now we put it in. Hopefully the battery has charged, because sometimes I buy cameras that batteries do not have to charge. Which way is it? Is it this way? Yep, just like that. All right, and now, I think there's an option. This one, what I know is you cannot turn it on. Um, like once you open the camcorder, it doesn't turn on automatically. You can adjust that, but okay. All right, look at the cell was in line. This thing is actually in pretty mint shape, dude. I don't see a single scratch on it. For a pretty good deal, I bought it for and this is it so oh oh it does turn on oh okay this thing does have low battery so oh <laughs> it looks like the battery's dead well thankfully because it's micro usb i can use it with a portable battery or to save some time i am actually just gonna use one of my spare batteries because uh this one's already fully charged and i've had my spare batteries for a couple days all right so it should turn on right away 
That's a little bit of a delayed reaction. Set home region, time, and date. Yes, okay. So let us see. Okay. Oh, dude, this... The, the noises that Panasonic cameras have, dude, they're really calming, dude. Like, something about it. Okay, so this is for Toronto, New York. Where are we here? Chicago, Houston, Mexico City. That's about right. Daylight saving. Huh? Oh, no, that's... uh. Wait, what are we on right now? I think the hour's behind, right? Oh, wait, actually, yeah, it is. This is... Okay. And then, I think that's with it on, so let's go enter. So... This camera, oh, this camera isn't picking it up so well. Okay, so this camera came out in 2016, I believe. Uh, let's see the date today is. It's February 6th of 2023. It's a little hard to see when I'm tapping when, with, with that and also trying to look at the camera at the same time. And it is 7.49 p.m. There we go. The screen definitely feels a little bit more, le like less responsive than the Vixia, but honestly, I don't think that's too bad. Video recording mode environment too dark or lens cover closed all right let me okay i get it let's see it oh nice that's actually not too bad so i think i can adjust the settings around here well this thing has already intelligent audio oh okay um so i have to mess around with the settings here intelligent audio auto i mean damn it okay let's let's mess around with the settings let's go to record setup zoom mode what's the furthest zoom i could go 500x okay let's do that one ios active i don't know what that is I, i'm mp4 that should be well correct recording mode 1080p mp4 yeah but where's the frame rate because i do i know this has 60 fps recording shooting guide on mic level auto okay uh i hope it's gonna go at see pre-rec maybe oh oh no that's Okay, never mind. Let me shut that off because I don't know what that is. Okay, so I was messing around with it. I think it's already set to 60 FPS because it looks pretty smooth whenever I'm, uh, whenever I, what you call it, I'm like on brighter scenarios. So the frame drops a bit like the Vixia, but I noticed the lighting is actually decently better. All right, well, it's been a good four years with with the Vixia, dude. I've used, I got my H, my first ever Vixia, the HFR 700, in November 2018. I got this one in July and it's February 2023 now so it's been quite a run dude I've used this camera for so so many years and I've used it for so many videos dude I'm definitely gonna miss it for sure but it's I think it's definitely time to move on and you know I'm definitely never gonna forget the memories of the Vixia definitely never ever it's, a, it's been it's been a great camera it served me well I really had a good time with it and hopefully I can make the same memories with this Panasonic camcorder all right, so let's try out the quality and do a video test. All right, this is the video test on the Panasonic HCV 180, and looks pretty good. Let's see, this is the Vixia. Not too bad. Yeah, I apologize if my room is a little bit messy. Here's all the box and stuff, giving you a little tour of my room, all that. And let's go over here to the mirror where you see better lighting. Sorry if my bathroom is a little messy. Nice, that's that's not bad at all, honestly. So now let's flip it over and now you can see me. Nice. It's pretty good quality actually. So it actually, it, my god, it, it's, I don't know, it feels kind of weird just filming with a new camcorder considering how long I've used this Vixia for. So I do notice that it actually has decently better quality. I think almost in a way it kind of looks like my iPhone, but I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I have to put it, put it, you know, head to head to actually see. If only I could go outside right now and do some daylight tests, but the problem was the mail guy came so late. The sun's been set for like the last two hours now, so I can't even go outside anymore to do any outdoor lighting, which was what I was really hoping for. And I don't know, out of out of any days to for the mailman to come late, it had to be when I have when my camera arrives. Because um, I was waiting, you know, earlier, like 3 o'clock. That's when they usually come in. That's why I was a little bit surprised. But, I mean, better late than never. At least I have it in my hands now. So, I was probably supposed to get this days ago. I would have gotten this days ago if we didn't have the freaking ice storm that, you know, completely screwed us all. And this is probably why I'm sick. You guys can still hear it in my voice. I feel way better now. My nose congestion mostly is gone and my, my throat's a little bit sore. But other than that, I feel fine. I think I should, I should be good by tomorrow, like almost 100%. And uh, yeah, so pretty cool all around. I really wish I could go outside right now. You guys have no idea. 
Maybe I'll eventually put it head to head to the Vixie and see how much of a difference it is. Let's see how it records an iPhone screen. So, nice. Actually, does a pretty good job at it. Pretty good. So, one thing I noticed is you can, so it's a little slower and a little bit like harder to flip or it's like, it's okay. The thing is, it, it it's better if you guys actually feel it because me trying to explain it is not gonna be very good. Uh, but basically, whenever you flip the camera, you could feel like the screen is definitely like stronger. Like like like, kind of listen for a second. See how it was a little hard there. And with the Vixia, you can do it pretty easily, like just like that. So you guys, I don't know. It's better for you guys to actually feel it because me explaining it won't do any good. Um, but yeah, I, again, I really wish I could do more tests, but considering it's dark outside, I will eventually do an outdoor test, um, in the next few days to actually, um, to actually see how the daylight shots look, but I'm, I'm, no, it's going to be pretty freaking good. And I guess considering since I can't do much else, I guess this was where I'm going to have to wrap up the video, uh, or maybe I could wait till the morning to actually, you know what? Yeah, I think that's actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait till the morning to wake up and then I'm going to do some outdoor video tests and see how how this camera does. Because I feel like every time I unbox a camera at night, I, always, I never end up doing an outdoor test and I feel kind of like dumb. It's like, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm going to eventually either never do it. If it's an old camera, I'll never do it or I wait way too later. So I'm just like, you know what, don't end the video now. I'm going to wait till the morning to actually get some outdoor shots. I have to see what the weather's going to look like tomorrow. Oh, well, that's just great. I think we're supposed to get rain... Okay, well, hopefully it's not that bad that I can at least still film because this thing is new and the last thing I want is to get water damage right after I get it. All right, so I'm going to put the camera on my tripod now and I'm going to move this Vixia down to my drawer where I have all my vintage cameras. It's been a good four years, but, you know, fortunately, all good things must eventually come to an end. So I'm going to put this thing on the tripod. I'll charge the other battery. And uh, I'll see you guys in the morning for the outdoor video test. Okay, it's just before sunrise. So it's a little chilly out, but it's time for the outdoor test. So it is kind of cloudy. The lights still trigger a bit just because it's not, sun's not fully up. There's my dog. How are you doing, Molly? I think she's, she's a little sick right now. Or either that or she's depressed, but I don't know. She's not behaving herself, but she'll be okay. Okay, you go do your business, okay? So let's do the outdoor test and see how how the camera looks out. And it's a somewhat sunny. Let's see the zoom. That's what I wanted to test. It's pretty good. I don't know if this thing has stabilization like the Vixia does. So I'm trying to zoom in as far as I can. It's pretty crisp, dude. Uh, I think it is stabilized. I think it does have the stabilization as well. Zoom into all that stuff right there. Looks pretty good. Zoom into my dog. Colors actually look very nice, dude. Like I ain't gonna lie. And then let's go a little more down there. See that light is still on because again the sun isn't fully out yet. I think sunrise is in just about a minute or two. So yeah, oh okay. I, this is where I kind of notice the frames begin to drop slightly when there's a bit low lighting, but I, it's not that dark, so I don't know what the what the issue is. And then we got whatever that is that camera's been there for years but I don't think it, it's ever worked because we don't even use it we have other cameras and two more of the outdoor tests there I've been up early since five it's about seven o'clock right now so we're chilling we're gonna chill nice all around pretty good now let's do outdoor face test like this Ooh, that's actually some very vibrant colors dude i ain't gonna lie like actually significantly better than the vixia although the vixia still was good but this one is just like you notice the colors are a lot more clear and somewhat realistic or they look a little more realistic 
nice out here. It's actually not too cold. It's 60 degrees and it's crazy because literally a week ago or not even like it was like five days ago it was freezing or below freezing and now it's like 60 degrees and surprising because you know at 7 a.m. though it's kind of chilly out a little warm warmer than usual got all the stuff here all the trees there the neighbors I think that's their bush I don't even know but uh uh, so this is tree or not zooming in I'm trying around more of this I want to go outside in front and show you guys my car because I still haven't showed it to you guys but yeah all in all it's a pretty looks pretty good you know the colors are definitely vibrant I wish that thing would shut off but it's automatic so I can't really do anything about it hi Molly you want to run around and play I don't, she, I don't know she's not she's not being herself she might be depressed or something gonna get her attention to get up maybe I'll I don't know I don't know if she wants to be touched right now she tried to bite me yesterday but I don't know maybe she just wants some alone time or maybe she's shivering too you can kind of see it poor thing she'll be okay though I'm giving her at least like prescriptions that should hopefully help her all right so oh it looks pretty good the quality of the cameras there. The zoom's pretty good. It's optically stabilized. The colors are what's more vibrant. I definitely notice it. Okay. Before I show you guys my car, I guess I'm just gonna spend time with my dog and make sure she's okay. Yeah, she's making noises. I don't know if she's okay or not, but I'm gonna just watch her. Here she is right here. It's a Nissan Maxima from 2014. I've got it about, I think almost two, three weeks ago. I can't exactly remember, but it's a really nice car. Uh, and as you can see, it's pretty good shape. It's in white color. The top of it almost looks a bit like a Tesla. And here's, we're just gonna spin it around a little bit here in the back. So as you can see, Nissan Maxima. This thing only had about 100,000 miles on it. So I'm gonna lock it and show you guys the interior. See what I got going on in here. Uh, so pretty cool all around. Actually gets the colors pretty good. Those lights are super bright. For some reason, it's automatic, and like they're really bright, especially at nighttime. So you can see, it's all good and everything. I think this thing only had about a hundred thousand miles. So I kind of have my little mess of cables here with my charger, cup holder, has a back camera, uh, Bluetooth navigation where I can listen to music, and I have a car mount right there. Uh, it's a pretty good car. You can even um, open the this thing right here, and then it'll like open it up, so that way you can let the air in. So. It's pretty cool all around. It's a really nice car, and uh, yeah, we got it mostly. All, all we got some of the rugs which weren't there before. Cover for the steering wheel. What I'm missing is a cover for the windshield for when it gets hot, because that's what I need. And also, we don't have any circular mirrors. I bought some off Amazon, which should be arriving soon, and I'm gonna ask my uh, my grandpa to help me install them, because um, yeah. So overall, it's a really nice car. It drives really good. It has a lot of horsepower. And yeah, cause I can I can accelerate pretty fast in this thing, and uh, yeah, I guess we can look out here in the front street as well for some more outdoor shots. This is where I was literally not too long ago uh, when I was filming the my YouTube short with the ice and everything. It was pretty crazy, but uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and wrap up the video now. So I'm generally impressed with this camera and its outdoor shots. Dude, it's really nice out here right now. <laughs> I keep forgetting there is a camera on the tree, so it's looking at me right now as I'm recording this. But uh, there's such a nice day out here and for it being super early, but overall, very impressed with the quality of this camera. I made good memories with my Canon Vixia for four years. Let's see if we can go for another strong four years with this camera or possibly even longer. We'll see what happens. But overall, I'd say I'll definitely use it for a very, very long time has very amazing quality and I can't wait to start using it for other videos and yeah that's gonna be it for this video so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one peace